In this video, I'm going to reveal one thing that results in lower sales, fewer email subscribers, lost conversions, wasted resources, and it's devastating your online business's bottom line. And I'm going to show you step by step just how easy it is to fix that and unlock more conversions and profits on your site. And you don't even have to be a tech wizard to do it. Let's dive right in. All right, so what is this one thing that's secretly sabotaging your online business? Well, it's not knowing where your website visitors are clicking. Every click has a chance to turn a visitor into a customer or subscriber, but without tracking where they're clicking, well, you're just in the dark. You're missing out on valuable insights that can help you to grow your business. The good news is that there's a simple solution to that problem. It's just called button click tracking. Now don't worry, you don't need any technical skills to use it. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to track your button clicks so you can see where people are clicking and you can start making adjustments to your site so you can grow your business. And you don't have to be a developer or an analytics genius to do it either. So let's address the elephant in the room. Can't you automatically just track clicks with Google Analytics 4's enhanced measurements? Well, yes and no. While it does track some clicks, it won't automatically track clicks on call to action buttons, add to cart buttons, or click to call buttons either. So if you want to track those clicks, well, you'll have to set up custom event tracking and you're going to have to edit your site's code or you can use a tool like Google Tag Manager. Now, if you're not a developer or a Google Analytics Pro, well, you're probably going to find that to be a little bit of a pain. But if you're a WordPress user, there's a much easier way and it's a lot quicker to track button clicks in GA4 without Tag Manager or messing with any code. Monster Insights makes connecting your WordPress site to Google Analytics easy. It takes the data from Google Analytics and it displays it right on your WordPress dashboard in an organized, easy to read and understandable way. I'll show you just how easy it is to start tracking button clicks for downloads, your CTAs, form submissions, contact and click to call buttons, e-commerce buttons, and a lot more. Before you start tracking button clicks on your WordPress site, you'll need to set up Google Analytics tracking. Then head to Monster Insights pricing page and grab the license level that works best for you. Now, if you want to track form submissions and e-commerce buttons, you'll need to have a pro license or above. Now for this tutorial, I'll be using Monster Insights Pro. Now, once you're all signed up, go to your account area and then head over to the download tab and download the zip file of the plugin to your computer. All right, next, log into your WordPress site. And then on the admin sidebar, click plugins and then select add new. Next, click the upload plugin button at the top of the page. Now you can either click choose file or you can just drag and drop the zip file here and then click install now. Once that's done, activate the Monster Insights plugin. Okay, now you'll need to connect Google Analytics to your site. Don't worry, just follow the steps in the setup wizard and the plugin is going to automatically add Google Analytics to your site without editing any code. Now, if you'd like more details, be sure to check out the link in the description to our guide on adding Google Analytics to WordPress. Okay, now let's see how to track specific buttons on your WordPress site. If you have digital content that people can download, then tracking clicks on your download buttons can help you see what content that people are interested in. Monster Insights automatically tracks downloads for a bunch of common file types like documents, spreadsheets, presentations, PDFs, and zip files. But if you'd like to track other types of files, all you have to do is just go to Insights and then to Settings, and then click the Engagement tab. Now just expand the File Download section, and you can add as many additional file types as you want. Now to see which download buttons are getting the most action, just go to Insights, and then to Reports, and then click Publishers. Now click Overview in the drop-down, and then scroll down to find your top download links report. Now you can see a list of all your download buttons and the number of times each button was clicked. It's a great way to keep tabs on your most popular downloads and see which buttons are grabbing visitors' attention and, most importantly, which ones aren't. Now to see the report of your file download clicks in GA4, you can just click the link at the bottom of your Monster Insights report that says View All Download Links Report. This is going to take you straight to your report in your Google Analytics account. Now look for the event name File Download in the table and click it. Now look for the Link Text Card to see a list of your download buttons along with the event count and total users. 
Now you can use the page view card to see which pages users were on when they clicked the download button. Monster Insights Pro also has a feature that allows you to track forms. It automatically integrates and tracks form submissions for all types of form builders. Now to start tracking your forms, all you have to do is install the add-on. Now to do that, just go to your admin sidebar and navigate to Insights and then to Add-on. And then find the Forms add-on in the list and click Install. Monster Insights is going to automatically detect any forms on your site and start tracking them. Now to see how your forms are doing, just head to Reports and then to Forms. Well, now you can see how many impressions and conversions each form got as well as the conversion rate. This is really helpful. Now to see that report in GA4, you can just click the link to View Full Forms Report. All right now in GA4, you'll want to look for a newly created custom event called Generate Lead. Now, when you find it, just click it and scroll down to the form ID card to see each of your forms along with the event count and total users. Now, since your button click events from form submissions is already set up, you can also use it in a custom report to get more data about how visitors are interacting with your forms. Monster Insights is a great option for tracking your overall e-commerce performance and monitoring clicks on your shopping buttons. With Monster Insights, you can easily set up Google Analytics tracking for your online store in under a minute, and it works with popular WordPress e-commerce plugins like WooCommerce, Easy Digital Downloads, MemberPress, and a lot more. Now to set it up, just go to your admin sidebar, and then hover your mouse over Insights, and then to Add-on. Now just find the e-commerce add-on and click Install. All right, now Monster Insights will automatically set up Google Analytics e-commerce tracking for you. To easily see how your online store is performing, just head to Insights and then to Reports and then to e-commerce. And finally, to Overview. Now scroll down to the bottom of the report to see the number of times that customers use the Add to Cart or Remove from Cart buttons. Now you can keep tabs on your e-commerce buttons, the abandoned checkout rate, and a lot more. Now, since Monster Insights has already configured your GA4 click events, you can track add to carts for individual products too. Just hit that View Full Top Products Report button to go directly to the e-commerce purchases report in GA4. Now that you have all of your e-commerce events already set up in GA4, you can easily build custom reports and funnel explorations and get even more insights into how users are shopping on your site. Now, if you have contact buttons on your site for users to email or call your business and you're using a mail to or tell link, then you can track how often these buttons are clicked. Monster Insights automatically records these buttons as events in Google Analytics. That means that you can easily see how often visitors use these buttons. Now, to see them in GA4, now in the table, search for an event titled Mail To and look at the event count. That way you can see how many times visitors clicked an email contact button on your site. Now if you want to see how many times a call button was clicked, just search for the event named Tell instead. Now if you run a local business where customers contact you to set up an appointment or request a service, well, then you can track these button click events to see how your website's contributing to in-person business. With Monster Insights, Google Analytics tracking is already enabled for the buttons we've covered. But what if you want to track call to action buttons or other types of custom links? Well, if you want to do that, you're going to have to add a short snippet of HTML to your links to see how many clicks that they're getting. Now, don't worry. It's easy. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. So there's three basic things that you need to add to your custom link so you can track event category, event action, and event label. Now the event category is really the only one that you must use, but the others are super helpful. I'm gonna show you why in just a second. So first, you'll need to snag this bit of code. Okay, now you'll need to make it your own. So start by replacing the website URL with your actual website address. Make sure you keep those quotations. Next, you'll need to pick a category, so you can change custom category here to something a bit more descriptive like Buy Now Sidebar. While this is optional, if you want to track the event action, just add this bit of code and then add click. And if you wanted to add the event label for, let's say, a button color, then add this. That's just an example. 
So here's what your personalized code would then look like. All right, now just add this to your button link and Monster Insights will automatically send the event to Google Analytics for so you can use it in your reports. If you'd like to learn more about how you can do that, see our tutorial on how to set up Google Analytics custom event tracking. Now, like I told you earlier, every click is a chance to turn a visitor into a customer or subscriber, but without tracking where they're clicking, you're in the dark and you're missing out on valuable insights that could really have a massive impact on your business. So check out this deep dive where I show you how to set up social media tracking at Google Analytics so you can boost your online business even more.